I'm back, everybody. This is live. This might be transitioning to a downburst. It still could be producing tornado. It's possible. 28% tornado risk on the storm. Oh, boy. And Montreal looks like it's Montreal getting hit is, on the uh, south southeast end yeah, of Montreal. Tornadoes, but it looks quite strong. Which I know that area really good, too. Let's look at it from U.S. radar. But the one that just hit south of here... They said there is damage. That's what he said before I turned the camera on. Quite strong in southeastern Montreal. Um, wow. Yeah, that's looking potent right now. Potent for sure. It just jumped from 9% to 16% tornado risk on machine learning. Whoa. Oh, boy. This oh, is, yeah, shit. This is turning into a downburst, I think. Okay, this downburst. This is a lot more like a downburst signature. The hook is gone. This has turned into a big blob. But right here, you can see right near Merrick Wolford. This is God. Uh, Ninety point seven. Oh my God! Winds. This, could this is a place that we hang out. The, the concrete uh, plant. One of the concrete plants that I used to work uh, for this company. Some risk. It says thirty percent. They have down there. Right where that tornado yeah. or whatever's or they say downburst now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is a beast. Okay. Um, I've never. He when he says it's oh a boy. beast. Let me check something in the background here. Give me a second. Wow. Wow, wow. Time for a coffee. Okay, give me just a moment. Uh, we need to go check on the Rocky Mountain House. Storm so we're under week. a tornado warning here right now. Like, I'm eastern Lanark Whoa. County. Well, actually, we're more central yeah, to you are east near, uh, Merrick Wolford Easton this is in Ontario Hemlock Corners Wolford Center Huckleberry Swamp Merrickville Carly's Corners Snowden's Corners uh, somewhere near County Road 15 potentially you need to be taking shelter with a storm it potentially produced a tornado earlier and it may be transitioning into a downburst just based on on velocity data here but it could still be producing a tornado Uh, Maverick Storm Hunter just reported a wall cloud five kilometers east of Bingley in uh, east of Bingley. Um, Bingley in okay. Alberta. Um, oh, there areas to the to the west. I say, there's no Bingley here that I know of. I know east. Bingleys that settled this area. Continue with that storm because it's looking pretty nasty. I'm maybe transitioning yep. to a downburst, but it it's right there in the middle, middle of the Rideau uh, uh, River water Rideau. system. Rideau. Ferry, so hopefully a Rideau Ferry, there. but not Rideau, Rideau Ferry. Just to take a look at the storm northeast of Rocky Mountain. I used to live in Rideau Ferry. And yeah, it's uh, I've talked about it before with the Oaks family. Both still look strong heading through Lee Dale. Terry and Shirley are gone, but they put me up in their cabin right there on the Rideau uh, yeah, Lake. Look at the hail core on this thing as well, too. Big, big time hail is possible with these storms. Could be getting a lot of uh, damn. Uh, A lot of interference from the hail itself. It's so this is the 8.30 update. I guess I'm pretty going to much call it. Wow. Second here. Oh, let's stick our nose outside. Let's go back for a second. Um, okay, not really much going on there. Just... Yeah. Regular kind of rainy kind of clouds. Looks brighter over that way. Let's uh, I think we take a walk out to the road now, so I can have a look at the have a look at the uh, north uh, northwest sky. So yeah, it's just south of here. And I know the area well, spent half my life running around that area. Kempville, Merrickville, Smith Falls, Rideau Ferry. I lived there for a time. <sighs> See, those clouds way over there are probably on the Quebec side, maybe closer, but... Those clouds are going from the northwest to the southeast. Well, that's where that 
tornado is right now. Well, it might be a downburst by now, but yeah, okay. And then that's uh, this way here, it was south uh, east. So directly this way is where that tornado, it's not all that far, but I mean, nothing to affect me here, at least. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of blue sky over here. I think it's over, at least for us. Might something develop there, but I don't know. Can you zoom with this there? No, you can't zoom in or out or in with that mode. Well, all right, I'm not, uh... huh. I got caught, I mean, just literally, that, you know, the alarm went off on my phone. I've got my friend Anna phoning me. She's on the highway from Toronto up this way, asking me which highway she needs to be taking. And uh, based on, you know, all day, the, the storms have been coming up, you know, through the Highway 7 corridor and north, and then through Bancroft and through Highway 28 and that way. So um, she was down in Clarington, which is near Toronto, um, she, uh, I told her to stay south on the 401 is her best bet. So that runs more along the St. Lawrence Seaway. She'll be going, you know, up past Lake Ontario and all that. But I mean, coming into this area, yeah, Highway 7 it might be... See, I don't know. I told her these storms look like it's going to be over, but she may, uh, you know, with pop-up storms and stuff, right? So... Anyways, yeah, she's better off on Highway 401. That's all there is to that. I don't, I, I don't imagine. Just wouldn't be a good idea to be on Highway 7. Because that's the storms have been just channeling right down. And they've been missing us. And one just missed us south of here, which is Highway 7. So, anyway, she's safe so far. If something changes, I can always text her. I guess her daughter's with her, so she can see my text come through. All right, I'm going to make a coffee. It's uh, 25 after 8 p.m. on Wednesday, July 24th. And like I have been all day, I'll get this uploaded as quick as I can. Okay, talk to you after. Bye.